Give me all your crab meat. I ain't playing! Put the crab meat in the bag! It's... Tin time. It's me, Tim the Toolman Taylor. Uh? Okay, shut up, Tim Allen. It's time to get out my tools. Uh? Uh? Get to work. Today, we are opening up a, uh, a couple of tins that have been out for a while. Wow, Grookey, you've got a dent in your head. wonder how that happened. We've got the three starters here uh, in tin form with their final forms as V cards in the tins. We should also have a couple of booster packs in here. And uh, today, as always, stick around for the Burning Shadows pack. All right, first things first. Gorilla tin. Here's the code, minus one digit. Here is our Gorilla promo. He has some very interesting moves there. Forest Feast and... Wood Hammer. Sword and Shield, promo number 14 for the English. What else do we have inside this? Oh my god! They're still trying to get rid of XY Steam Siege. That is hilarious. Alright, here's a... This is almost classified as a vintage pack <laughs> at this point. There is uh, the code for this, if you would ever want to redeem it. Oh, f shit! Of course, there there is no energy on the end. There, that's the rare there. Have a look at that! And then uh, this will be the reverse. A nice little hop hip. There's a very provocative ambipom. And here's the rest just quickly. And let's move on. Alright, so besides the Steam Siege, we get two Sword and Shield packs. And then another one, which is the Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. Let's have a crack on the Sword and Shield. Alright, Score Bunny in there to start it off. Alright, here is the code card, one, two, three, to the front, getting rid of the Lightning Energy. We have uh, Galarian Lanoon. We've got Energy Switch, Bishop, Score Bunny, Pikachu, Sinistee. We've got a Wooloo. We've got a Shelda, tonguing the environment. We have a uh, Ponyta as a reverse, if you could tell. And on the very end, to start it off, not a great V card, I don't think, but uh, Del Myers V. Sword and Shield, Big Lapras on the front. How will this one test my patience? One, two, three to the front, getting rid of a psychic energy. Let's have a crack, a switch, Nintendo Switch, a reboot. A Ponyta, Cottony, Score Bunny, Silly Snake. We've got a Dumb Dog, we've got a Pal Pad. And very end, we've got uh, Poltegeist. Now that's some spooky tea. I think to throw you off guard, I'm just gonna do the Burning Shadows now. So let's see what we can, ooh, okay. That one's just coming apart. There is the code, one, two, three, to the front, getting rid of the Leaf Energy. We have a Simipore, a Noctow with a broken neck. We have an Oddish Dabbing Duskull, Esper, Wellipede, and on the very end, folks, it's a Lucario holographic. All right, last pack before we move on to the second tin. Let's see if we... Ooh, okay. That one is that way round. Really sucks that there's no consistency uh, with how they do those. They should just have them the same for every set moving forward. They just keep flip-flopping them. Sometimes even in the same set, ones that you get from tins... Or, or boxes will be different than ones you get from booster boxes, very strangely. Uh, some pretty cool Pikachu art there. And on the end, we've got a Zatu. Tin number two, Sobble or Intellion. Tin code, minus one digit. And we're going to go straight into a Sword and Shield pack to try our luck. Here is the code from the back of that one. One, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the Darkness Energy. Yeah, we got a Hyper Potion, a little bit better than a regular potion. We've got a Cactus, we've got a Rat, we've got a Cat, we've got a Peed, we've got a Quick Ball. I think those are still in high demand, the Quick Balls. That's a decent card. And on the very end, uh, two V cards so far. Stone Jorna, he's got a lot of motion blur on his big rocky leg. Looks like he's kicking the shit out of someone. Okay, yep, it's consistent. Each one is trying to get rid of a Steam Siege. And a Cosmic Eclipse. Let's go into a Cosmic Eclipse. After this, we'll take a look at the promo card. Oh, one, two, three, the front. Well, psychic energy. Okay, tag call. It looks like a some sort of USB plug thing. We've got a Sand True, a Lolan, who is a steel type. Uh, Ponita, horse. We've got a little Sunken. We've got a Zangoose. And on the very end, 
of this pack, a Cradily. Cradily? Cradily. Yeah, Craddy's nuts. All right, promo card time. I have something to complain about. Still with English, they haven't figured out a proper way to put a card in here so that it doesn't damage itself when you get it out. Can you see these little nubs? They overlap the card on both sides. So if you pull it from the middle, it still, like, can get stuck on a nub and it can ruin a could-be perfect card. Look at that. It might be hard to see. There's a slight little dent right around there. So if you were the kind of person that wanted to PSA this, you could no longer get a 10. It's very strange because I feel like everything I open that's Japanese, they have a, such a better way of storing them. Uh, but here you go, Inteleon V. He's uh, looking very cool. He's got Snipe Shot and Aqua Report. And he is Sword and Shield promo number 16 for the English. All right, what's it going to be? Steam Siege with the... Is that a shiny Gardevoir on the front there? Uh, we've Steam Siege, still is a white card like that, slide forward. Just gotta remember it's the, the other- Fuh, I can't, my brain! Anything before sun and moon, no energy! Bastiodon, nothing special. And here is the rest of them, that is pretty cool artwork, nice leaf there, don't mind that. Got a fucking thick bird, got a Meowth, I don't know what he, what's going on there, he's seen some shit. Uh, we've got a Shellos, Reflet, Oshawott, with a little shell, and that's, yep, that's the reverse. There's some cool artwork in this set. Okay, Colossal Snorlax. What will he bring? Let's have a look. We have Code, one, two, three, to the front, getting rid of the Leaf Energy. We've got a Sea King, King of the Sea. We've got a Long Monkey. We've got a Jesus Egg. We have Galarian Horse. We've got a cactus, we have a mud horse, we've got just a regular old ordinary rod, and on the very end, wow, a big muddy horse! <laughs> Alright, I don't know why I even whinge about stuff like this, I guess that's for other people and design in general. I myself just throw the tins wherever I please, and do a whole bra, bra, bra. bunch of this. Code minus the last digit, and here is the big fire rabbit promo card. Quite an interesting move name. Crimson Legs. I like that. Wish my legs were crimson. Sword and Shield promo number 15 for the English. Alright, let's see. Cosmic Eclipse with the Power Puff girls on the front. And we've got a big golden deer. Okay. Gonna start with this one. Now let me think here. The code is still this way around, but... After one, two, three, to the front, there is no energy max. You just turn it around like so. We've got a spirit link. We've got a lampant. We've got a clef key. We've got, look at the size of this. You ever think you play a game of Pokemon, you have to sit down and read a fucking dictionary? Wonderlock. Jesus Christ. They should make a card where even the description goes into the image or something like that. We've got a fungus. We've got a Mankey climbing the Eiffel Tower. We've got a Nidoran male. A lot of very interesting bits of artwork today. Uh, I feel like they've moved away from a, a lot of these styles. And they've got a Nido King coming out of a cave. All right, I think we'll save our two sword and shields for after the cosmic eclipse. We'll do the cosmic eclipse now, and I'll try to wrap my brain. Okay, flip like so. The madman has done it. He's worked out a children's card packet. Um, and then you do get rid of a, an energy, it's a psychic energy, We've got Misty and Lorelei. What is this? What's happening? Why? So much to read. Was this, was the other one from this set or was it Steam Siege? I feel like I never see that much text on a card. Now it's just like, it just seems like the norm. Phantom. Ah! Gog! Gog! The goblin getting cardboard! Shiny! Okay, I like that. Um... I think the value of these is actually a lot less than you would think for how beautiful the card is. Uh, but then we've got a buzz wall on the end. And I think that's because, um, yeah, they just, they take the reverse slot. They're kind of common enough, but they're very, very nice. All right, sword and shield. Let's see what the modern day TCG can bring us. Here is the code one, two, three to the front, getting rid of steel energy. We've got some Grunts, we've got a Drizzile, we've got a Glarian Stunfisk, we've got some Tea, we've got a Sheep, we've got a Shell, we've got a Krogunk, we've got a Snake, uh, we have a Cream Puff, little Cottony, 
And then on the very, very end, it's a character from that Mario football game. Snorlax, my big Buddha. Let me rub your belly for good luck. Let's see what you bring us. Here is the code. There is the water energy. Here is Galarian Lanoon. We've got Rotten Bike, Drizzle Pusuk, Sog, Silk. We've got a Silk Quilt. We've got a Silk Quilt, Sincino. There's the evolution of Silk Quilt there. Sincino, Sincino. Well, there it is. Another day, another stack of average packs. But don't go anywhere because it's time for a little segment I like to call Max Mofos Postcard Collection. It's the segment where we crack open the old postcard collection here. Uh, we turn to a new page and we have a look what we can insert here today. Typically, these postcards are from the Pokemon Center and you have to play the children's slot machine. And you get a new one once a month. But today, we're going to take a look at some ones I've got from eBay that I still haven't uh, gone through. This one, ooh, okay, very papery. I haven't really looked at... Oh, so this one is Pokemon Center still. Tokyo... Wait, 1998? Oh, that's when it opened, right. Okay, up here. 2014, still a pretty old card. This feels more like a flyer advertisement than a postcard, but all right. Couple more mystery ones here. Let's see what this one is. All right, all the boys celebrating again what looks like uh, the Pokemon Center. I think that's where they are out the front there. Pokemon Center Osaka. That's kind of hard to see on camera. 2011. And last of all, we're going to have a look at this one, which is Pokemon Center 2012. Here it is. Very, very nice. Everyone having a, a lovely day there. Pre-corona, I'm assuming. Uh, it's a very rough bit of card. And we're going to shove all these in like so. And close it up. And then, still one last thing. We've got to open up a Christmas present. I still have these. There's still more. Let's see what we get this time. We have... Our little friend, Sobble, from Takara Tommy. All right, Sobble, let's take a look at you. All right, very nice quality, very sturdy for a nice little toy. Thank you, uh, guys, for watching. Make sure you buy some of the Max Mofo merch. Look at all that merch. You can do that by clicking the link at the top of the description below, or you can go to max.shirts with a Z dot cool. And there's all sorts of other clothes on that website. If you buy anything else on checkout, make sure you put in code MOFO to save 10%. I will see you guys next time.